these questions real quick. What separates Cooperstown Distillery from other distilleries? What, what separates Cooperstown Distillery from other distilleries is a few things. Uh, one is we have our Hall of Champions collection series, which is our great sports themed decanters. We have a baseball, we have a football, and we have a golf driver. So we're very unique in that regard. As a matter of fact, you can buy our Hall of Champions collection decanters in the Baseball Hall of Fame, the baseball one. You can buy our football one in the Canton Football Hall of Fame and the basketball one, this one, in Springfield, Mass. So that makes us very unique, the association we have with the respective Hall of Fames. The other thing that makes us very unique is our lineup of the Cooperstown Select Series. Super premium, award-winning, distinguished whiskeys, led by our flagship bourbon, Four Grain Mash Bill. We're one of the very few that actually has oats in its mash bill at 18% for us. We also have a rye, we have an American single malt, and we have an American blended whiskey. So these are super premiums that complement our sports themed decanters. Awesome. That's hey, that's the oat that's very interesting. Yeah, like that. you've got that's, one that's, up there too that's William Dalton uh -huh. from uh, French Lick Indiana. <clears throat> There's probably only a few distilleries that actually use oats in the bourbon. It's uh -huh. creamy, it's viscous, right? And that translates into the juice itself, and it makes it uh, probably a more a thicker mouth feel. Interesting. Yeah, and it's a longer lasting kind of delivery. Of wow. The as well. You know what distinguishes New York State greens? What is the yeah. great So that? what also distinguishes us is we source all of our grains from New York State for our Cooperstown Select Series. As a matter of fact, there's a fourth generation farmer uh, just up the road from Cooperstown, New York, that supplies the vast majority of our grains. Quality, consistency, just the best. So that's what makes us unique and different. The other difference is the climatic differences between New York and the South, Kentucky and Tennessee, where a lot of bourbons and whiskeys are made. Our climate's very different. We don't have a situation where we've got 150 degrees on the fifth floor of a rick house in the <laughs> summer. Our rick houses are more controlled in terms of the temperature. We think that provides some distinct advantages for us, makes us very different than some of our competitors in the South. Tell us about your farmers and the fact that you're a farm distillery. For our Cooperstown Select Series, more than 100% of the grains are you know, we, we get from a local New York farmer. So in the state of New York, if 75% of the grains come from New York State, you can be considered a farm distillery. And we meet those qualifications. And we're very proud of that aspect as well, that we support the local economy. We have a quality and the consistency of grains to help form our mash bill. Can you go a little, little bit into the, the story of Cooperstein and like tell us, you know, like the, the origin, and like yeah. a little bit of depth into that just to you know, so, so Cooperstown Distillery has been around for going on 10 years now. We were founded by Gene Mara, who is a culinary genius, who's got an incredible palate. Um, Gene started the distillery back in 2013. And in the early days, he used his incredible palate really to do a lot of experimentation on what those mash bills should really be to deliver a satisfying, differentiated, uh, whiskey that was able to carry a little bit of a punch, you know, 100 proof on our bourbon, 102 proof on our rye, and it's 103 proof on our American single malt. This one is 90 proof. But mm -hmm. in my travels and doing tastings with consumers and customers, most folks are really surprised that the bourbon is 100 proof because it is so incredibly smooth. That's also the case with our rye and our American single malt. This one is just naturally soft and inviting. It's probably our best sipping whiskey at 90 proof. Awesome. That's, that's incredible like, to know that like 100 proof and it's so smooth. And yeah, it's it is. It's very distinguished. It's, it's the oats really help. That was going to say, yeah, like, can I help smooth that yeah. out? That's awesome. You know, you, 
Can you tell us a little bit about the, the Baseball Hall of Fame, uh, Hall, Hall of Fame Signature Series? Yeah. Can you touch into that a little yeah. bit? Yeah. So Cooperstown Distillery is obviously located in Cooperstown, New York, which is where the Baseball Hall of Fame is. Uh, we're just a couple of blocks. Distillery is a few blocks away from the Baseball Hall of Fame. So we've developed this association with the Baseball Hall of Fame through the years. And as a matter of fact, you can buy our sports themed decanters in the Baseball Hall of Fame. And we support a number of them are actually autographed um, as well for sale in the Baseball Hall of Fame. That's also the case in the Football Hall of Fame. So in Canton, Ohio, you can actually purchase our sports themed decanters. We call our Canton Distillery brand bourbon. Uh, you can purchase those decanters, not with liquid, but you can purchase those decanters that are autographed in the, in the respective Hall of Fames, baseball and football and basketball for that matter. That's awesome. What are Cooperstown Distillery's inspirations? You know, for Cooperstown Distillery, well, our major theme is all about excellence and making distinguished whiskeys, which include bourbon, American blended whiskeys, rye, and an American single malt. That excellence, really, the inspiration for that is the Hall of Fame associated association that we have. So every step along the way, from milling, to mashing, to distilling, to aging, to finishing, to bottling, all is about excellence and about quality and about being handcrafted, small batch. But out of the range and all the spirits that you have, what's, what's your go-to, what's your your favorites? For personally, you know? I uh, get asked that question a lot. Which is my favorite? Which is my favorite? Well, I must say, when I joined Cooperstown, my favorite was the American Single Malt, hands down. But over time, I've come to appreciate just how distinctive and delicious our rye is. And so I'm joining the rest of my compatriots back at the distillery who all prefer rye as their favorite. That's now my favorite, too. Wow. Just changed over time, just the appreciation for it. Part of it that happened was we oversold, we, we ran out of stock mm -hmm. on the American Single Malt. So I had to switch kind of to rye. And a lot of what I like to do as well is to make cocktails. Uh, American Single Malt is great for sipping, but not for cocktails. Oh, okay. So it's just the rye is more versatile, I mm -hmm. think. So there's more application and it makes it delicious old fashioned. This is the next question I was just about to ask you is, you know, what's what's a great cocktail to make with, you know, your favorite or to make with the Cooperstein spirit? Yeah. So, kind of like Well, that. you know, people ask, what is a great cocktail to make with Cooperstown Distillery products? Well, I would say definitely, you're not going to go wrong by choosing any of these. However, what I would recommend is, if you're an old-fashioned person, you like an old-fashioned, substitute the rye for the bourbon and you will not be disappointed whatsoever because a rye old fashioned using Cooperstown Select Rye is some of the best I've ever had in my life. Take the time to do it right, do it by hand, just like we do the rye by hand, make yourself a killer cocktail, and you'll be very satisfied. Just outside of you know, your day-to-day job, what's your, what's your favorite thing to do, what's your pastimes, what, what, do, you, what do you get up to? Um, what do I like to do in my own time? I do travel a lot, so on my own time, I actually prefer staying at home because right. I'm traveling a lot during the week. Right. And and during that home time, it's it's all about hanging out. It's about in, entertaining couples, entertaining folks, having them over to the house or going to their house. And it's about really a cocktail culture using Cooperstown Select Series products to make some killer cocktails. Um, I think I've introduced the brand to a circle of friends that I have. Everyone is a huge fan, uh, particularly the bourbon and the rye. So it's all about getting together on the weekends, maybe grilling out, maybe cooking a nice meal, having a few cocktails and enjoying oneself. What's your favorite musician? Uh, favorite musician? Uh, I'd say genre is definitely classic rock. Um, still like it, still love it. Mm -hmm. And I think the one band that has stood the test of time for me that I still love listening to is none other than Pink Floyd. So I would say Pink Floyd. What's your favorite movie? 
<laughs> you know, a favorite movie, again, there's so many great movies out there. I, the, the one that always resonates with me is probably Gladiator. Um, and what is it now? It's over 20 years old. And I'll still watch it at least once a year. You know, I think it's a great movie. Just love the plot. I'm into ancient history. Love the Roman setting. It's just a great movie. So that's probably number one. Another really good movie is No Country for Old Men. Another great movie. Yeah, that's a good one. That's the one Javier Bardem. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It's... That's a good one. You got your bourbon. You've got your you know your bourbons. Everything that you're into. Your whiskeys. Anything else you drink outside of that? What's your go-to drink outside of you know the Cooperstown Select? Have you got anything specific that you're? Well, you know, you know Cooperstown actually makes essentially just about every distilled spirit, with the exception of tequila. Oh, really? I don't. Know. There you go. Right. Yeah. So, delicious vodka called Saratoga vodka, delicious rum, Saratoga rum. So those would be next in line. If I'm not in the mood for drinking spirits, then I like a good beer as well. You know, a good crisp lager um, on a hot summer day is a good way to start the day. Yeah. Let's see. You think about like how big we are as far as like how many states we're in. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we can roll with them like that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just... So Cooperstown Distillery has been in a major expansion mode for the last year or so. And as a matter of fact, right now we're in 30 states, also Japan and Canada. And we have designs on being in four to five additional states by year end. So we'll, our footprint is, is ever growing and hopefully by the end of this year, we'll have near national distribution. That's our goal.